everybody. Welcome to the city of brotherly love. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. I'm not here to patch up the crack in the Liberty Bell, but I'm here to watch some Flyers hockey tonight. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Flyers start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Picked up along the boards by Drysdale. Philadelphia's got it along the wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. And now it's to Coyle. Slides it up front. Boston's moving it into the offensive end. Quick pass to DeBrusque. Taken by Marchand. Puck scooped up by Farabee. Slides it diagonally to Konechny. Solid check to slow him down. And he takes a shot. And that's broken up. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And not much on that one. From behind the net, looks to break out. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Konechny. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. The Bruins are across the line and into the offensive end. And that goes off a stick and off to the side. And he takes the dish. Here he is in front. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Scooped up along the wall by Walker. Quick pass across to Sandheim. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes a shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. Sits it in front. And that's stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Bruins win the draw. Stick feed. Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the go-ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum, but the pipe stops it. Lindholm's going to play it to the corner. Makes the stop with the blocker. Oh, and another save. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. And now he angles it across to Pasternak. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Now a quick pass to Forster. Across the line from center. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Poked away by York. The Flyers have it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Cates. The Flyers move to the offensive zone. And that pass is redirected. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Shot. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Boston's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Picked up along the wall by Lauco. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. The Flyers win the defensive zone faceoff. Ristolainen's lugging the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Lauko. Nice zone entry from the middle. And that's knocked away by Ristolainen. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Sends it into the offensive zone. The Bruins have it now. Tosses it on to Kiki. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Hathaway's got the puck along the wing. Look out, here they come on the attack. The Flyers have it behind the cage. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Angle.
dribbles it over to Heinen. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. Play is called for offside. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Couturier's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Coughs it up at center. From the point, looks to make something happen. Sends it out in front, and that shot's blocked. Sandheim's looking pretty banged up out there, James. Looks like he's fighting, pushing through something. Oh, out on the play! Wow! Uh, the true competitors say just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. They fight for it along the boards. Gets the puck over to McAvoy. The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. With some open space at center. Moves it quickly over to Couturier. The Flyers looking against the half wall. Skates in behind the cage. Here he is from the slot. He scores! And just like that, it's a 1 0 hockey game. Now they started like a freight train, just heroing their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing they were prepared coming in. You see players working from this area all the time in practice. A quick snapshot. Bully can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Flyers have come out very hungry in this one, and look at this, they get the 1-0 lead. The coach was talking to us at the pregame skate about how important it is to get off to a good start, not let anyone into the game to start it in your barn, and you couldn't have drawn this one up any prettier. Great reach with the poke check by Drysdale. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Moves it to Pasternak. That's blocked. The Bruins will take it behind the net. Back to the blue line. Here's a feed in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Now over to Pasternak. And the defenders come away with it. And the defensive team's got it now. Looks to set up at the point now. The Flyers played along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Philadelphia's got the puck now. Drysdale's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official's call. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Give us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Couturier's won the draw. Now look to set up. Cut off the post. Score. No mistake on that one. The clinical power play goal. Well, this goal is evident how critical face-offs are. And this is a clean win, a set play out. And it's just an explosive one-timer that beats the goaltender clean. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Philadelphia's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Flyers win the faceoff at center. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Kiki's came the line and on the attack. Pokes it away in his own end. The Flyers move the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! The noise of he got all of it! The big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Uh, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. 
Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out, and of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender's side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give them some rest. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Philadelphia is looking to break out. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Cutting to the front of the net. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. The Bruins played along the wing. A chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Philadelphia's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. The Flyers win the draw here in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Quick pass to Steen. Directed over to Forbort. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Puck grabbed by Heinen. Here's a short pass to Shattenkirk. Stopped by the goaltender. Gains the zone on the left wing. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Bruins take it along the wing. To the front! And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Ristolainen. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. From center, they get into the attacking area. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Poked away at center by Ristolainen. Gets a glove on it to make the save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Pasternak's team is trailing, and they're looking to him to use his zone ability to generate some offense, guys. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see... Oh, he had a but it goes off the inside post. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Boston's won the faceoff. Trapper save! Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because with the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. The Bruins still have time to get back into it here in this first period. They've had the opportunities, just can't score. Tippett's got it in the defensive end. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. The Bruins are in transition. And now it's grabbed by Sealer. And that pass attempt is deflected. Great use of the wall in the pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Too much congestion in front. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Atkinson. Takes a shot. Glove save. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick feed to Van Riemsdyk. Slides the pass over to Lindholm. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Close save, and he made it look simple. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Philadelphia's got a 2-0 lead. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. The Flyers will play it in their own end. 
Here's a chance. And that's blocked in traffic. Taken along the wall by Farabee. Sends it over to Frederick. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Big time shot block there. We got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. He can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. For the low slot! A tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And as play continues, this place is still positive. They're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And, man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Takes it to the net. Puts it wide. I'm not sure what happened there. Well, it almost looks as if he was rushing the shot, and then he lost control completely. He's got a step. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Sends a pass over. And he comes up with a stop there. Here he is with the pass over. Scores! And they strike once again. structure and the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net Sandheim's not going to be able to return to the game James I mean that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out this is that tough loss for their team no and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game Drysdale's got it into offensive territory chance in front and he shuts down a great scoring chance there Lindholm stick handling in his own zone and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Philadelphia is moving it along the wing. The Flyers gain control of the puck. And he takes the feed. Denies him on the slaughter. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Pasternak's good at picking his spot with his snipe zone ability. When the puck is flat and settled, his shots become laser beams. Konechny's depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Musa quickly over to Lauko. Puck picked up by Farabee. Gains the zone through the middle. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Kiki's going to pull it against the half wall. Melko's been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Flyers are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Philadelphia's got it in the defensive zone. The Flyers have it now. Works it across to Forster. 
Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. Feed to the middle. And that's stopped. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Boston still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. Philadelphia is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Sent into the offensive zone. The Flyers have it behind the net. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. Forster's taking it from his own end. Moves it to Cates. Saucers it tape to tape. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Quick pass to Heinen. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Poked away by McAvoy. And that's deflected. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Great stop by Ayrson. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Shot! Love save, and an easy one at that. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. They win the draw and go on the attack. Wow, what a stop by Swayman! It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender oh, does a great job of making it happen. Here's a chance, and that caroms off a body in traffic. The Bruins are on the attack. Sends it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. Grabbed along the boards by Pasternak. Oh, stopped it. Scores. And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Nice job tying up his opponent. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a short pass to Konechny. And that's intercepted by DeBrusque. And he takes the feed. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Takes it to the front. Taken by Marchand. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Ristolainen's moving the puck through his own zone. The Flyers play it along the boards. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles a great feed here in the neutral zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Konechny. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Bruins have it from the corner. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Faraby. Slides it diagonally to Konechny. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Konechny is so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Quick feed to Forster. Turns him away. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Boston's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Here's a chance. Log jam in front. That's broken up. The Bruins gain the zone. Quick pass across to Kiki. Fires it on net. Philadelphia's got the puck. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Lauko. 
Wicked glove save to get a piece of that one. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And that's knocked away by Forster. Handles the pass from the right side. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Puck scooped up by Sealer. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Scores! And look at this! Suddenly, they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity, and it gets them within two. And this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. And if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. Late goings of this period. Boston still down by two goals in this one. The Flyers win the draw. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Strong defensive effort. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Saucer feed. Boston's got possession of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Puck grabbed by Pasternak. You'll need more than that to beat him. Penalty coming up. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. There's the whistle and here's the call. And that's the third call of the period and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game and preparation is key. Otherwise things like this happen. McAvoy is known for great stick checking in his own end, guys. He's got that stick him up zone ability, and that's his puck checking skills that he uses to fend off an attack. The Flyers win it. Unloads one. Oh, what a save he made on the one timer. Steen's gliding in for the face off as this penalty kill will continue. Couturier's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And now it's taken by Atkinson. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Feeds the puck over to Steen. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lauko. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Puts it on there. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. A goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Steen's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Bruins win the draw. And he hangs on to the puck. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. One-timer! And that's blocked away. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And it's kicked away. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Trying to get it out of danger. Kept in at the line as that's blocked. Yeah, it's a tough one for the PK unit. You got it on your stick. You got to find him. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Oh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. Set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. The Bruins have had a lot to like about their game so far here in the first, but yet they still trail in period one. 
puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Moves it to tip it. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. Puck goes out of play. We got a faceoff coming up. Here in the later stages of this period, the Flyers have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Shattenkirk's got it in the defensive end. Quick shot! Shuts him down. Picked up along the boards by Fulmer. Oh, wow! Another great stop! Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a shot. Oh, wow, what a pad save by Ayrson. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Slides it over to Coyle. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. And he had the answer on that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Lawton's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Flyers start with the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Atkinson. Boston's got the puck. Coyle's got it along the boards. Knocked away by Drysdale. Shot! My goodness, what a save by Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Here's a short pass to Coyle. And he keeps that one out. No, it's in. It's in. Looked like he had it, but not the case. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Boston's hoping to even things up before this first intermission. They've had plenty of chances, but they still trail. Couturier's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Takes the feed from the left side. Boston's gained possession. Quick feed to Pasternak. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end with time winding down. Takes the feed at the back end. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Great reach with the stick by Van Riemsdyk. Scooped up along the wall by Walker. Passes it over to Faraby. Twenty minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Hey fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team sign poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Bruins had a strong period, James. I really like the first 20 minutes, their effort, their underlying numbers. They had the majority of possession, but they are trailing by one, so they're going to have to have instincts around the net, look to attack, drive, and put it by the tender. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Centering pass, and that's intercepted. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to Trisdale. No room for that one to get through. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. And that's just out of reach. McAvoy's got the puck in his own zone. Receives the pass. Strong defensive effort. 
into the corner of the attacking area. And he makes the save. Tries to feed it over to Konechny. Knocked away with the stick by McAvoy. Boston's got it in their own zone. Great pass from off the right side. Cuts into the paint. Denies him in close. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Takes the feed. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. The Bruins have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. The Flyers win the draw. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Tippett's got it along the wing. Takes the shot. Denied by the puck stopper. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Philadelphia's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Boston's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it to Kiki. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by York. Tries to get the puck over to Paling. The Bruins gain possession. Puck sent over to Frederick. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. York's lugging the puck. Quick pass to Paling. Slides the puck over. Takes the pass. Kiki's got the puck. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Ristolainen. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Drives to the sweet spot. Turns it away. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Steen. And now it's grabbed by Paling. Across the line, down the left wall. Quick feed to Delorier. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Lawton. Moves it quickly over to Heinen. Denies him! The Flyers have it now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Shot! Quick stop by Swayman! Looks to make a play over to McAvoy. He carries the puck up along the wing. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Moves it to Couturier. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Along the half wall with the puck. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a shot. Big time stop. And somehow he hangs on. Quick pass to Ristolainen. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Pasternak. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Let's move to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Marshawn's aware that he needs to step up for his team, guys. His zone ability is one part of his game that can help his team close this gap. The Bruins will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Off the glove, but the puck skips away. 
Headman pass. Pass to the front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Erson. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Philadelphia's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Flyers win the draw here in their own end. Sends the pass over. On the attack along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Handles the puck. Pass back to the point. Stops him cold. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Here he is on the backhand. His reflexes on display tonight. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. The Bruins have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Off the face, off, they take the puck. The Flyers move the puck in the defensive zone. Shot! And he makes a save there. And he takes the dish. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front! What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Here's a short pass to Sealer. Let's it go. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Swayman. Face off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under seas, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Taken here by Ristolainen. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Inside the offensive and now down the left. Fires it. Fantastic save. Quick feed to Paling. And now it's over to Delorier. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. James, and you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, the goaltender heard the ping and was hoping that that puck redirected out of the net. Unfortunately, this time it goes in. Philadelphia is now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's totally. going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Steps across the blue line. Smart defensive play there. He grabs the puck here at the point. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Philadelphia's got it along the wall. Grabs the puck in the slot. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. And that's blocked from someone in front. Came up with the save on that play. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Blocked in front. Philadelphia's got the puck. Boston's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Great heads-up play with the stick by Ristolainen. Tippett's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Here's a chance! There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. DeBrusque's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Philadelphia's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. And the power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can tag your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. 
Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Steen's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Philadelphia has won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Bruins will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Philadelphia has gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Konechny. Gains the zone. And that's poked away by Carlo. Takes a bump but hangs on. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Swayman. Couturier's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Philadelphia has won the draw and they'll go to work. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Steen side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Bruins win the defensive zone faceoff. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Battle along the boards. The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Fires it on net. Glove save and the puck moves on. The Flyers have it against the wall. Slick feed. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. The Bruins take it along the wall. Scrum along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Forster. Slides the puck across to Frost. The Flyers take it along the wall. Puts it on net. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Made the stop on that play. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Here they come. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Puck picked up. And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice, and when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly, and they're able to hammer it home. The Flyers are beginning to make it rain goals here now up by three in period number two. Well, yeah, and it's all a product of the quick counter where they're creating their opportunities off of James. I think it starts with that good structure that ends up going north. Couturier's won the draw inside the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Taken by Lindholm. Passes on over to Carlo. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Made the save on the play. Goaltender spent so much time doing... Oh! Scores! All over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. Actually a tougher play than it looks James you have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it not a lot of time and space available but he executes perfectly Boston's got one back now can they get themselves another they're gonna be able to if they do one thing and that is attack and drive the coverage back and if you do that you find ways to get shots through to the net the Bruins get a hold of the puck off the draw. 
And he can't hang on after that hit. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Philadelphia's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, a clutch save! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the period has expired. The Bruins are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck scooped up by Ristolainen. Into the offensive zone. And the puck skips away after that move. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Moves it to Forborn. Moves the puck. Nice poke check. Grabs control of it at the point. Quick pass to Forrester. And that's intercepted by Forborn. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he loses control of the puck. Cates takes it into the offensive end. Quick shot! What a save by Swayman! Here's a short pass to Lauco. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Angles it over to Bokvist. And he takes the pass. Makes a move in front. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. The Bruins trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. What a stick save at point blank range by Ayrson. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Gets control of the puck right in front of his own end. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Quick feed to Atkinson. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the glove. What an incredible save in a high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that glove save. Past the midway mark in this period. Philadelphia's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead it 5-3. Here's a shot, and that doesn't reach the net. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Flyers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Denied by the goaltender. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. The Flyers move to the offensive zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Here's the change. Boston's won the draw. Puck grab by Lindholm. What a block as he lays out, and I'm sure he'll feel that one. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Swayman. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Shot! Scores! The captain comes through! It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home.
The Bruins needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Philadelphia has come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. The Flyers carry it along the wall. Takes a shot. Denies him. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one-goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Picked up along the boards by Van Riemsdyk. Moves it quickly over to Shattenkirk. Trying to get the puck out of the zone. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Moves it to Saka. Fires one on goal. Oh, lays off for the block. Wow. Answered the call on that play. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Marchand's picking up steam. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Takes it in front. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Coils ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Bruins take possession here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save with the trapper. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Palings recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. And that goes off a player. Scores! And we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has their most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Past the midway mark of the frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And it's a quick pass to McAvoy. And that's a great heads up play by Sealer. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Sends a pass over. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Boston's looking to break out. The Bruins played along the boards. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. A chance on goal. Great glove save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Getting into the later stages of this period. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Flyers have it now. Carries it across the line. Great reach with the hook check. Works it across to Laupo. And he takes the feed. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Whoa. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole and as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud. And 
recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Scooped up along the wall by Couturier. Quick pass to Farabee. Let's it go! And that goes off course off a of body. Boston's gained the line and into the zone. Quick shot! And makes the routine save. And the puck's kicked free. The Bruins gain possession. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by York. Let's it rip! Denies him with a save! Moves the puck across to Farabee. Gains the zone through center. Farabee's got it against the boards. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Centering field! And that's intercepted! Ristolainen swooping in on the attack. Takes the shot! Denies him with the save! Here in the late goings of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Boston's got it in the defensive zone. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. That opportunity is rejected. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Bruins gain control of it. Heinen stick handling in his own zone. Puck dumped in. The Flyers have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Paling. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Frost's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Up along the wing. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. To his teammate! Walker's moving the puck through his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Zaka's taking it from his own end. Here's a shot! Gets a glove on it to make the save. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Philadelphia's taken possession in their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Musa quickly over to Forbort. Poked away in the neutral zone by Hathaway. The Flyers take possession of the neutral zone. You don't see that too often. A game misconduct, so he's gone for the game. Really affecting the lineup. His team's put behind the eight ball. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there is motion. Everything seems directed at the net. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And they get that puck down the ice. Feeds the puck to tip it. Moves it to Couturier. Shot! Here's a shot! Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Steen's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Philadelphia's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Swimmin! Gets it out of his own end. 
second period nearly into its final minute here. Quick pass to Faraby. And that one's turned away. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Steen's gained possession and his great work inside the faceoff circle pays off again. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Philadelphia's got the puck. Takes the feed. Broken up by Carlo. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Lindholm. And now he moves it to Steen. Tries to the crease. Oh, and it goes off his glove. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Coils gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Frost's got it in the defensive end. The Flyers played along the wing. And that's deflected off someone in front. Boston's in transition. Takes a shot. And he's able to handle that one. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends. Go grab yourself some water. Get hydrated. And then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Now it's your chance to play clean. Join us at our arena as the first sports and entertainment facility in the entire country to use 100% renewable energy. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the Play Clean recycling bins located throughout the arena. Thank you for joining us in a campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. The Bruins penalty killers get off to a good start, winning possession here. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a short pass to Marchand. Boston's got it along the wall. Here we go, puck's in deep. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Quick feed to Konechny. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Whistle blows, stopping the play. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Big opportunity here for them. They'll have plenty of time to work this five-on-three. In the five-on-three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Slides it diagonally to Forster. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Fires it! Here's a shot! And he comes 
up with the glove save. Kiki's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Philadelphia is going to start with the puck in their own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Boston's got control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Moves inside! Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Konechny. Here he is, wrestling on that big time stop. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here, Builder. Here's a shot. got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed at the point. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Moves it quickly over to Couturier. Back to the point it goes. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Coyle's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain shorthanded. Handles the pass. Moves it to Faraby. And that's intercepted by Marchand. Shot! And there's a great save by Harrison! Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. And now he angles it across to Faraby. Receives the pass. With the stop. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. And a successful clearing attempt. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. The Flyers will play it in their own end. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Konechny's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Let's see the call here. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Not a lot of time to work, but they still have a five-on-three. A short five on three here, on the stick, off the stick. You're not gonna have a lot of time to move the coverage, so driving it towards the net and crashing it is key. Trying to clear the puck, and they put it off the glass and out. Well, the shorthanded unit, they find a way to get to this puck first, James, and the tough part there is you gotta get it on your stick and off your stick quick, as you know the power play unit is gonna be coming. This is done perfectly. Lawton's got it to the side. Oh, just a great heads up play by Grislyk. Boquist's going to join the penalty kill here as they remain short-handed. Oh, denies them with the paddle save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And that goes off a body. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Great reach by Lawton. Moves the puck over to Saka. Hunts the boards through the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Philadelphia's got it across the line. Oh, what a stop by Sweden! Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And that's blocked up the line and kept in. Oh, this is frustrating for the PK unit. No question about it. This has got to get down the ice, James. You work so hard to get it. you got to find a way to get it 200 feet and kill some valuable time. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Yeah. 
And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And now it's grabbed by Drysdale. Stopped by the goaltender. From the place 99 made famous. Grabbed along the board by Ferebee. that pulled the goaltender, James. Uh, not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage, and the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here, and that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Philadelphia has been locked up in a dogfight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dogfight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck, and you'll win this game. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Kiki. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Philadelphia's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James. And if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. And man, is it working tonight. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, when I played, this was my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time. And you knew when that puck was on your stick, you had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you could contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Picked up along the boards by Frost. Here's a short pass to Atkinson. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes it across the blue line. Reaches out and uses the stick. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Quick feed to Forster. Here's a chance. Oh, stop on the pad. Scores! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. The goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. Philadelphia's got the lead, but it's been an unconventional way to get here with this two-goal advantage in the third. Yeah, their opponent has certainly had more shots than they have. But listen, when you execute, you find a way to get to the middle of the ice and you look at the opportunities and capitalize, this is what happens. Moves it quickly over to Saka. Oh, what a save in front. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Shot. Puck goes off the glove. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Boston's had countless shots throughout the night, but they still find themselves behind the eight ball here in period number three. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Boston's across the blue line. Fires it on net. Big time stop. Gets a blocker on it. Scooped up along the wall by Sealer. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Krizlik. Takes the pass. 
The Flyers' top line is on the ice, and any time they're on the ice, they create opportunity. It's because of their motion and their gifted offensive talents. They love the offensive zone. It's their playground. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to McAvoy. Across the line. Puts it on net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Puck picked up by Sealer. Loco's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net but finds the puck and could have lost it but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. That knocks him off the puck. Takes a shot. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. The centering feed. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Sends the pass over. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Hopus got it in the defensive zone. And he was ready for that one. Great pressure on the offensive end by Konechny. Picked up along the wall by Couturier. Scores! And they're cooking now! Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They've garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Philadelphia's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Cutting to the front of the net. Great save from in tight. Now, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Here's a short pass to Volkwitz. Made the stop on the play. Tees it up. Scores! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. Boston's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Forster's got it in the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. The Bruins have it against the wall. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Tremendous stop by Ayrson. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Denies him in front. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Hammers it. That's the body on the block. The Flyers have it now. Feeds the puck across to Hathaway. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Huge steal in his own end. Philadelphia is looking to break out. Quick feed to Lawton. And that goes off the glove, and it stays out. Quick pass across to Pasternak. Nice zone entry from the right side. And that's broken up. Sealer's got it now deep inside his own end. Hathaway's got it in the defensive end. Delorier's got the puck along the wing. The Flyers take it along the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And a good save on the play as action continues.
The Bruins have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Kiki's won the faceoff. Carlos taking it from his own end. Kiki's picking up momentum through center. Here's a shot. Oh, saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. He needs to find a way to manage his emotions here because they're creeping into his game. That's a second penalty he's taken this period. The Flyers send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man has it been effective. And it comes up big again. Relentless pressure. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. McAvoy's moving it ahead. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. The Flyers take it along the wing. Great poke check on the reach. Steen's got the puck in his own zone. From behind his own net. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. The Flyers gain possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a shot. Glove save. Couturier's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Flyers win it. Take it along the wall by York. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Scores! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. Let's have another look on the replay here, James. I thought that he had the post cover, but he clearly did not. There was just enough room to slide that puck in the inside post. The Flyers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Using every piece of equipment there. That goes off the shaft of the stick to keep it out. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. The Flyers once again send out their power play unit. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup at the Stars? Konechny's been able to find the back of the net in this game, guys, and I really like the way he's gone about it. I'm giving him the edge tonight. Boston's got possession while under man. And a nice save there as play continues. No, he, he scores! He thought he had it, but it must have gone off him. It's in the net, and that's a goal! Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean.
Philadelphia's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Musa quickly over to Faraby. Handles the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone. Grabbed along the boards by Couturier. Yes, he scores! There's the hat trick in Rain Chapeau! Yeah, Rain Chapeau is right there. Hats all over the ice. They're going to have to collect them. Oh, this is going to take some time, but man, has he ever had an effective night. He had two, and he was thinking three all the way. The Flyers continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Shot! That one's off the blocker! Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Moves it to Konechny. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Quick pass to Couturier. Scores! Well, that's number two, Connor. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. you got to believe he's got to be looking for the hat. a real difficult spot for a goaltender to come into James the team is not playing well in front of you the starter's been chased out of the crease and then you get peppered right away real tough the Flyers probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here I know we're in period number three but Cheryl what a night yeah it's been terrific right from puck drop and they've been consistent throughout the game and consistency is always a word that coaches talk about and if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Moves it to DeBrusque. Boston's got it in their own zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what a save by Ayrson! The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Skates across the blue line. Shot, and he makes the save. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Across the line from center. Here's a shot, blocked in traffic. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Taken by Atkinson. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Olmark. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Marchand's gaining momentum. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Ristolainen is lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Tippett. Poked away at center ice. The Bruins take possession here in the open ice. And he takes the dish. Denied that one. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Denies the shooter on that play. The Flyers win the draw. York stick handling in his own zone. The Flyers played along the boards. Big save in front. 
Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Ristolainen is lugging the puck with the bank pass. And that puck leaves the zone. Quick feed to Carlo. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Snagged with the glove by Erson. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. The Flyers win the draw here in their own end. Sealers moving the puck through his own zone. And that's poked away. Boston's moving it up the ice. Slick feed. The Flyers move the puck in the defensive zone. Philadelphia's on the attack. Fantastic save! Let's it go! Can't get it to Cole. Well, and it's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. From the back of the cage with the puck. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. A critical face-off looming here, and let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tired tender, and on the offensive side, you've got to recognize that vulnerability, and you have to attack the net. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Moves it quickly over to Bokwitz. Takes the shot. And he gets in front of that rocket. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Philadelphia's got possession here in their own end. Moves it to McAvoy. With the steal. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. Shot! Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Olmark. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Faraby. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Boston's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Great defensive effort with the stick. Forster's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Quick pass to Marchand. Slides the puck ahead to DeBrusque. Gaining momentum up along the side. Takes a shot. Score! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build off that last shift. Well, just fantastic hands to be able to pull the goaltender to the side that he wants and then to just lay it home. He doesn't even have to elevate the puck. He uses the low part of the net. The Bruins don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Palings won the draw at center. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Through center along the wing. Fires it! Oh, what a close save by Erson! The centermen glide into position. Coils won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. From one point man to another. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Paling 
Williams crossed the line and gained the zone. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. The Flyers get a hold of it. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Allmark's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Tippett's got it along the wing. That's gloved by Allmark. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Boquist won the draw here in their own zone. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Shot! Shuts him down. Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Flyers will play it in their own end. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. And it's taken in the corner. Get the call. What an ugly game. You're down by a bunch of goals and you take a penalty. Really, it's inconsequential as the game is out of hand. So frustrating. Another chance here on the man advantage. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time? They'll look, be looking for those same openings. Stops them with a glove! Allmark's faced a high volume of shots from all different areas in their zone. I mean, his team has hung him out to dry, James. It needs to change, or it's going to be a shelling. Steen side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Philadelphia's got it, and they're on the attack. And he slides it quickly to tip it. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Here's a chance! And he easily stops that one. Looking to break out here on the power play. Nearing the final minute of the third. Fires it on net! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Couturier. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Couturier. He carries the puck up along the wing. And that's taken by the defense. And now it's taken by Couturier. Puck scooped up by Farabee. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Quick feed to Konechny. Oh, a clutch save! Allmark's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. Picked up along the boards by Drysdale. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Well, they went here tonight, and, and I think it really kind of started at the dots here, Cheryl. Yeah, they controlled the dots, which means they controlled possession. They were able to convert on their opportunities, execute, and it's the reason why they won the game. And the party's not over just yet, Pounder. Look at them here. They come back out onto the ice. You gotta love it. Just a fun night all the way around, and they've stuck around, and they stick around. And so does their team. They come back down the ice to say thank you and salute them. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.